Ozone is a gas that made up with three oxygen atoms. And that's our main protection against the sun's UV or ultraviolet radiation. Although its thickness varies seasonally and geographically, it mostly begins between 6 to 10 miles above the Earth's surface and extends up to about 30 miles. The ozone layer was discovered in 1913 by the French physicists Charles Fabry and Henri Buisson. Ozone in the Earth's stratosphere is created by ultraviolet light striking ordinary oxygen molecules containing two oxygen atoms, O2, splitting them into individual oxygen atoms called atomic oxygen. Atomic oxygen then combines with unbroken O2 to create ozone, O3. The ozone molecule is unstable, and when ultraviolet light hits ozone again it splits into a molecule of O2 and an individual atom of oxygen, this continuing process called the ozone-oxygen cycle. Human activities can damage the ozone layer. When chemical like chlorofluorocarbons, used in the manufacture of aerosol sprays and blowing agents for foams and packing materials, reach the stratosphere, the ultraviolet radiation from the sun causes them to break apart, and release chlorine atoms which react with ozone, starting chemical cycles of ozone destruction, that deplete the ozone layer. In 1985, scientist discovers a thinning of the ozone layer on top of the Antarctic, this also known as the hole in the ozone layer. These holes allows UV rays to reach the surface of the Earth. This can have a bad effect on animals and humans, such as increases in sunburn, skin cancer, cataracts, damage to plants and reduction of plankton populations in the oceans, which are bad for the whales. In 1987, the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer finalized and signed. Montreal Protocol is an international treaty, that designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for ozone depletion. Due to this and other actions, scientists discovers the ozone layer is slowly recovering. Some believe it can fully recover by 2050. So what we can do to help this recovery? Check your fire extinguishers to find active ingredients. Don't buy aerosol products with chlorofluorocarbons, CFC. Dispose of pre-1995 refrigerators, freezers, and air conditioning units properly.